Hello, good morning. This is Faris Al Hajri from uh, Oman, and uh, I'm here in uh, Virginia to pursue my missions, my plans uh, on the hydrothermal therapy or hot water therapy or aquacalidum therapy. Or the topic here I will be covering about uh, uh, hot water therapy in relation with the uh, emotional health. In very short, emotional health is actually the correlation between the different uh, hormones that are excreted by the glands. And these hormones, they control everything what you do in our life. Our mood, the way we respond to panic, to emergency, choose incidents, our daily activity, the way we think, the way we talk, the way we express ourselves, the way we interact with people, being compassionate with other people, the way we build our passion, the daily activity, everything, our sexual uh, uh, desires, uh, all these are controlled by the different hormones. And as we know that uh, we have more than 100 hormones excreted by different glands, the American Dr. F. Batmengelic, who did an extensive research on the water benefit on human body, where he came up with his belief that, to saying that you are not sick, you are thirst, do not treat thirst with medication. We found that uh, water is so important to our body. And the College of Osteopathic Medicine, like American Association of Osteopathic Medicine, and when it was discovered by Restu Tello, uh, he found, after he lost three of his children, where he found that uh, the medicine, the drugs, failed to heal his children. So he lost three of his children, and he came up with the understanding the body of human being, to study deeply about human being, where he came with the principles of osteopathy. And among these principles is that the body, being a machine, uh, is correlated with the mind and soul. And they all work together in one is affected, then overall system will be affected. Like for example, the American Holistic Health Association came to understand the, the possession of all the four aspects of health, the physical health, emotional health, mental health, and spiritual health. All these are interrelated as one part. And if one part is affected, then the whole overall system will be affected. Like the World Health Organization, they proclaim that being healthy it's not merely absence from a disease, actually being healthy is again possession of uh, physical health, emotional health, mental health and spiritual health. So the emotional health, as we now focus here, that uh, like uh, Dr. Batmanglij, when he mentioned the importance of uh, drinking a glass of uh, water before meal, 15 minutes to 30 minutes, they gland secrete a hormone and that get mixed with the water you just taken and create a layer mix of the hormone and the water along your stomach to protect it from hydrochloric acid hcl is being excreted by the stomach to facilitate the metabolism the process of a digestive system so it's good on one side but on the other side it is the cause of acidity, also, and all these uh, different uh, gastroenteritis problems, digestive problems, all this. But what needs to protect from the hydrochloric acid, which actually is one side is good, but on the other side, the water that you take before meal is the one that, uh, as I first said, that will lead the glands to secrete a hormone, and uh, as we mentioned. So, so we, we took that part and uh, we emphasized the importance of that. Uh, the hormone itself, that the water is the signal to the glands to secrete a hormone. But when we did our personal research on the hot water therapy, where we emphasize that the, the, if you realize about the laws of thermodynamics, about shifting of energy from one body to another, like for the example, the first law of thermodynamics, that energy cannot be created, cannot be destroyed but it shifts from one body to another. So it shifts from hot body to cold body, but not the other way around.
So not from the cold to hot, but from hot to cold. So the hot water that we recommend for children is about 40 degrees Celsius, which is about 99.9 uh, .9 degree Fahrenheit. And for adults means from uh, like 14 and above is about 50 degrees Celsius, which is about 122 degree Fahrenheit. And of course, following the therapeutic methods of drinking hot water, that's a separate program with them in terms of uh, the minimum required per day, uh, volume of hot water and the temperature, the method, how you divide it in different uh, time, in the, from morning till at night, and so on. So that's a way to maintain when you drink hot water, because the hot drinking method is one modality. There are other modalities of hot water therapy. So when you go into this uh, the therapeutic methods of drinking hot water, that's the way that uh, it shifts the energy from the hot water to your body naturally by hydration. So that we regulate the glands to secrete a hormone constantly, regularly, in the accurate way. So it will help the hormonal balance and all these hormones are, that our body needs that control everything about who we are, what we say, what to do in our daily activity and so on. This is one. Secondly, all the hormones the moment they're excreted by the gland, every single gland when it secretes a hormone, it goes through the blood, it's transported by the blood to reach the task. So they, all the hormones, they're being transported. So the blood is actually the river that transports, I call it the river between brackets, because it transports these hormones and to bring them to different uh, part of the organs, including the brain. So, of course, every part of the organs, sexual organs and, I mean, different organs in your body. So all these hormones, they're being transported by the blood. Now, if we study about the blood, of course, when you talk about everything related to human biologic, genetic, psychologic aspect, we find that the elements, that only these four elements are found in hot water, are the key role, are the fuel that uh, they call, consider the missing puzzle, the secret, for everything about who we are and what we do in our everything, in our complete overall uh, health, the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual health. So, so with the blood, actually, if you study, but if you realize about this uh, blood, that plasma is actually 92% water. And the blood of human being, as we emphasize, we realize that it is actually temperature is a little bit above the body's temperature. Not the body's temperature, above. Because the blood transport heat to the organs of the body. So it, it's energy, So because heat is the source of energy. So it transports the energy to all parts of the body. This is just a glimpse about uh, the benefits of uh, hot water therapy and your emotional health, that you can, it can put you in a stage of uh, uh, better emotions uh, in terms of uh, adrenaline, uh, serotonin. Of course, serotonin is the happy hormone that uh, maintain your happiness, keep you in a good mood, the adrenaline to respond to panic and so on, emergency, times of uh, political imbalance, economic imbalance, anything that causes, uh, I mean, how people to interact with each other, how to understand one another, how to integrate with different society, different culture, different people, different races. All these are controlled by the hormones that in our body and that uh, make who we are. So just hot water therapy is the source of all this uh, to help you to control your hormonal balance, to keep your mood, to keep everything in a regulated way. I wish you a healthy, good living and a wonderful life. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.